Welcome to Torridon. My uh, last video was in the night uh, and it was round the back of this big monster behind me which uh, actually goes way up that glen. Now today we're heading up the other way. Now there's a very famous uh, route here, a loop that goes round Ben Daff. That was Ben Daff behind me there. And I'm not going to do it. The, the first bit looks like it goes along a, a lock side and then you start gradually climbing up. For me, the lock is level, it's flat, it might be beautiful, but it's more of a cross country ride. So instead, I'm going to mix it up and I'm just going to climb Ben Daff and I'm going to hit the lower descent, which is like the end of the loop, which is largely recognised as the best part. So I'm going for the best part and a different part just to try and mix it up. Okay, this is the road. Torridon's just back there. And this is. Technically the end of the loop, but this is where I start my climb. There we go. We're going up there. That one in the background. So this one on the left is actually part of the loop. This is where you come to. So this is where everything that I'm going to be riding is going to vary, uh, deviate from where you would normally go. So just about to summit the shoulder, everything just down there. <sighs> um, well, there could be a little bit of walking, let's just say that. It was too steep for me to even film. I had the bike in the back, busting a gut. And then that is Loch Daff. That is where, if I was to do the conventional loop, I would have cycled alongside that lock there and actually anti-clockwise circumnavigated this entire mountain. That's the standard loop. Okay, the trail has changed again. Loads of erratic boulders. Uh, well, actually slabs. Um, yeah, just a change of terrain. And I dare not even think what is over that crest. Well, we know it's a cliff. I'm not even going to go near it. So that's previously what I thought was the summit. Slogged on up through this boulder field, and I thought this might be the summit, but the guy said a bit further on. And then, bang. That's another fucking mountain. Wow. I'm still going up to the top though. Just not taking the bike. Well, having uh, pushed the bike up most of the way and normally pushing bikes up, now that I'm hiking, that's a piece of piss. <laughs> it's about half the effort I need to walk up, but double the speed. But yeah, I'm uh, glad I chose to not cycle this bit because that is just a sheer drop and that is just sheer cliffs on the other side as well so I'd only make one mistake on this one is it the actual summit yes it is bing done thank goodness oh ho. The Ben Dam loop takes you all the way down to those trees and then back to the water. That's a, that's a good loop. So I might come back and do that one yet. Now look at all these amazing, stunning mountains. Absolutely spectacular. None of them actually overly high, but they're just straight up. And look at the one we've just come up. Jesus. Time to descend.
that's uh, got some big holes in there. Oh, a high risk of stalling and going over the bars there. So, in the my peripheral on the left, that edge where it just turns into water, that is definitely a big cliff. And having seen the cliffs that are on this hill on the other side, I have no reason to believe that that is a small one. I'll just keep your eyes forward and try not to think about it. few lines in here. Not a clue which one I should be taking. I just look for the path of least resistance. Oh the bike is so good at this stuff. Expectation is to go really fast here, but I know the consequences. Wow! <laughs> Just like that. Done. Yep, straight into a hole. Surprising myself here. <laughs> Spoke to sin. Yeah, that's actually washed away completely. Right. I think I'm gonna go. Oh, that's as dodgy as fuck. So obviously. That must have been the path before and it's just washed away. Oh, yeah. Kind of. A bit more path like now. It's mad when you can say that this kind of terrain is where you can relax. But when you're doing manure riding, it's right. This is the easier stuff. This is a bit more like it. Now I've got to worry about these drainage ditches, as usual. This bike is like a, a dub at the cloud. 
just thought it's not got everything. Look at how chunky that is. It's just fucking eating it up. And there we go, and now we join on to the there's a loop like that I should have done. This is the same descent. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I'm going to try a single track. <laughs> oh, I nearly just went off the edge. It's hot. That's what I've done. <sighs> now I've got to finish my climb to get back to the van. So several hours have passed since I last uh, switched the camera on. I was just absolutely destroyed. Um, mainly just from the climb back up the road here and being out of the wind. It was like 27, 28 degrees today and pff, I'm Scottish so I'm not designed for that. I have drunk plenty of fluids since, uh, I'm feeling good now, I don't think I've got heat stroke or anything like that, but yeah, it's um, eye opening. Couple more days that are rideable, this is Thursday the uh, 25th of July, tomorrow Friday is looking okay for the weather, same with Saturday, I will be joined by my good friend Ruri for that ride, and then Sunday is to absolutely piss down, so that will be an editing day. And then after that, I'm heading to Harris, the Isle of Harris. So we will see you either tomorrow with a ride by myself, don't know where I'll be going, or you'll see me with my good mate Ruri, and we're going to do what's known as the Lord Pablo. So uh, thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.